everyone. How are you? You know, this is the best day of the week. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Let's give a hug to Addie and Alfred and Allie, Autumn, Bennett, Bo, Emma, Emmy, Edie, Everly, Gwen, Harper, Hattie. Big hugs for Henry, James, and Jackson. Jonah, Jordy, I got a hug for you. Kinsley, Kendall, Lacey, Laurel, Layla, Levi, Lily, Lucas, and Luke, Macy, Maddie, Melissa, Noah, Nora, Raylan, Reagan, Remy, Sadie, Sophia, and Zoe. Good morning to everyone. And I gave everybody a big hug. Um, and I want to say good morning to Jacob Alexander. He was born this morning and he weighs 10 pounds, nine ounces. He's Jonah and Noah and Allie and Maddie's little brother. Congratulations, everyone. Okay, let's do our pledges. Here we go. Everybody stand up. I need everybody on their feet. Reagan, put your hands by your side and then salute. I'm saying the pledge to the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now we're going to say the pledge to the Christian flag. So put out your hand and salute. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. Very good. Now we're going to say the pledge to the Bible. Ready? Put out your hand and salute. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. Very good. If I sit down, we're going to sing our song. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E Bible. Fantastic. Well, it is a very important day here. Let's find out what our months are. So I'm going to ask uh, Noah, what month is it? That's all right. It is April. And let's count, let's do our song. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Wow, when we started doing these videos, we were up here in March. It has been a long time. It has been four weeks. Um, let's count how, uh, how many days we have. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I lost my yesterday. Tomorrow. All right, ready? Let's jump ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! What a lot of jumps. Now, let's see. What day of the week is it, Allie? Let's find out. Uh, seven days. Seven, or days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week. So let's say this again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's right, today is Friday. And it's also called Good Friday 
because it's, it's a very special Friday, and we're going to talk about that later. But it is April 10th, and it is Friday. All right, let's do our weather song. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it rainy? Is it sunny? Is it windy out today? It's very early right here. I don't know what it's going to be because I can't, the sun's just coming up. So I'm going to hope for a sunny day and put it down there. You could change yours if you want to and put it where you need, where it's going to be for you. Um, but it's very early right here. Okay, now it's time for our rainbow rules. So I need everybody Let's curl up. Just going to get curled up this morning. Up. Uh, okay, we're all curled up. Ready? The red rule says to keep your body to yourself. Your body to yourself. Your body to yourself. The red rule says to keep your body to yourself all day long. Orange rule says to be quick to obey, quick to obey, quick to obey. The orange rule says to be quick to obey all day long. Let's back down. The golden rule says be kind to others, kind to others, kind to others. The golden rule says be kind to others all day long. The green rule says to use your walking feet, walking feet, walking feet. The green rule says to use your walking feet all day long. The blue rule says to use your inside voice, inside voice, inside voice. The blue rule says to use your inside voice all day long. Let's get some big ears, ready? The purple rule says to listen well, listen well, listen well. The purple rule says to listen well all day long. All right. The violet rule says to wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. The violet rule says to wash your hands all day long. Okay, we're going to do that now. Ready? Turn on the water. Get them all wet. Turn off the water. Don't want to waste the water. And we're going to get one pump of soap. And here we go. This is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands all day long. Scrub the palms and rub the backs. Go between the finger cracks. Scrub the palms and rub the backs. This is the way we wash them. All right. Oh, wait, we, gotta, we all got all this soap on us. Let's open it up. Turn on the water. Get all that off. Shake my hands a little bit. And get the paper t and get the towel. And wipe them off. And then hang it back up. We are ready to go for the day, aren't we? All right, let's see. Hmm, let's do our phonics song first, and then we'll talk about our letter. When we learn these sounds, you'll see, ready to read, then we will be. A, 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 bo, pa, pa, ba, k, k, cat and da, e, e, egg and fan, g, g, goat and Hand, I, I, inchworm, ch, ch, cham, k, k, kite, and lamb, mm, monkey, mm, noodle, ah, uh, ah, uh, octopus, and p, p, poodle, qu, qu, quilt, and rail, sun, and t, t, tail, a uh, uh, umbrella, v, v, vase, I'm nearly through, see my happy face, w, w, wagon, Box, y y yarn, say, do you see a fox? See him in the z z zoo. It was fun, and now we're through. Very good. So, what did we do last last time? Did we do an S? Yeah, that means we're on T for tail. 
Let's see, over here, look, it is a giant T. You got the uppercase T and the lowercase T. Now, let's stand up. We're gonna be an uppercase T. This is my body, okay? I'm gonna put my arms out. Am I an uppercase T now? Are you an uppercase T? I know I'm gonna do my arms like this. Does that make me a lowercase T going out to the side? Hmm, maybe, it's hard for me to tell. All right. So that is our T, and T says t, t, like teeth and tongue uh, and toes. I can look at my toes for you. Let me get them up here. See, there are my toes. And what else? Turtle. Um, on your flum sheets, you're going to see you have a tail, a tiger, a turtle, and teeth. Did you know a turtle is in the water and a tortoise lives on land? Isn't that interesting? But they both start with T. And look here, we have a tiger. Rawr. His name is Timmy. And here we have a table, teeth, telephone. That's what they used to call phones, is telephones. Um, here's a turtle, a tree, and a triangle. Okay, let's sing our song. Timmy tiger, Timmy tiger. T says t, 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 t. Table, teeth, and Telephone, turtle, tree, and triangle, T says t, 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 Did you know I have two brothers and their name starts with T? I have Toby and Tim. And they may, Toby may be watching. I don't think Tim's watching, but um, those are my brothers. That's all right. So what, you know, T makes me kind of sad because the last time I was with you guys, was when we were doing tea, and we did the hmm, we did the tea party. That was like our last thing together. I'm glad we had a tea party on our last day together because we did the teddy bear tea. But some things you can do is you can walk tiptoe. We did that down the hall, and you can have a teddy bear tea with your own teddy bears. Uh, we could. Do you remember sorting the toothpicks into the different color holes, and bing bag toss, and you can have a tongue relay. And of course, there's always tickling little brothers or um, maybe mommy will tickle you. Hmm. Um, but some of the nursery rhymes we know start with a T, like twinkle. It's like twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. And another one that I like is called Two Little Blackbirds. And what I did to make these, I took um, like a rectangle and I glued it into a circle for my fingers. And then on the back, I did a triangle. And then I just did some beaks. And then, do you remember the Two Little Blackbirds? Well, two starts with T. So we're going to do that song. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack, the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Two little blackbirds sitting on a gate. One named Early, the other named Late. Fly, fly away, Early. Fly away, Late. He's late. Come back, Early. Come back, Late. Here he comes. He's very late. Two little blackbirds sitting in the snow. One named fast, the other named slow. Fly away fast. Fly away slow. Come back fast. Come back slow. Two little blackbirds sitting on a cloud or flying through the cloud. One named quiet, the other named loud. Fly away quiet. Fly away loud. Come back quiet. Come back loud. Hmm. And I've heard it. Two little blackbirds fly uh, up. I don't remember the other one. Okay, there's one about them flying and one's high and low. Flying flying in the sky. Maybe that was it. Um, but there's many verses to that. But you can make your own little blackbirds if you want and practice with those. Or you can make them bluebirds or redbirds or pink birds or multicolor birds. All right, so we're going to do our drawing. We're going to start off with our song. So put up your tin. 
But if all ten fingers, I have ten fingers on two hands. I have two hands with ten fingers. I have five on each hand. First there's Thumpkin, then there's Pointer, and the tall one, middle man. These three are special, they are busy, and they love to play. They play with toys and hold a pencil in just the right way. Then there's Pinky and the Ring Man. They're the tall, oh no, Ring Man and the Pinky. They're the sleepy little ones. They hug a pillow and stay sleepy while the busy ones have fun. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna use our busy ones. And today, I got I made a, a thing for you. And you're gonna go straight line. You're gonna do vertical lines from top to bottom, and then you're also gonna do L's. And when you do the L's, you're gonna go down to a. I made the dots half red, half uh, half green. So you're gonna start at a green, go down to a half red. Start at a half green and go over to a red. So you're going to make a lot of L's. I wonder what the picture is going to be. Hmm, that might be interesting. Okay, so we did that. Let me see. And we did our nursery rhymes. You know what that means? It is time for the numbers. Okay, let's come up here and look at our numbers. We are on number 12. Let's count the ones on this bar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is the ten bar, and we have one of those. And then we have two extras, eleven and twelve. There's the two for the twelve. So we have a one and a two next to twelve. And now, you little ones, you're just going to look at these two, because that's the twos. You, some of you guys are two, aren't you? So there, we have two. Let's, let's clap twelve times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's right. Um, and you are gonna have your sheet here. Let's count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you are going to uh, put ten oh twelve things or two things if you're little. Uh, but let's think, what kind of tea things could they be? Tea bags, that's a good one. Yeah, I heard somebody say that. Um, uh, hmm. Tinsel, pieces of tinsel. Uh, not your teeth, don't put your teeth on there. That would be bad. Uh, what else? You guys are gonna have to think of something because it's too early in the morning for me to think. This is amazing. So that is our number. And I, there was a cute little um, counting to 12 song where you count cats and dogs and things that I put in the email. So, it is now time for the Bible story, and I'm so excited because this is the best Bible story that ever was. This is God's plan. Remember, we're going to go to the, the Bible, and the Bible is God's holy word. And all the words in here are true, and so we're going to be hearing a true story that happened. And yesterday, we were talking about how they had the last... Remember, they had the Passover supper, and Jesus washed their feet. Well, after that, he went into the garden to pray. And he did that a lot. He prayed a lot. He would get away by himself, and he'd pray. But he was really upset this time because something hard was going to happen, and he was going to he was going to be in a lot of pain. And uh, Judas, the betrayer, he went, and he told the priest, Hey, I can tell you where to find Jesus. And they said, yeah, okay. He says, it's going to cost you money, though. And they said, we'll give you 30 pieces of silver. And that was a lot for that day. Probably like a whole month's wages. And he said, I'll take you to him, and then the one I kiss will be him. Hmm. Because nobody could get close enough to Jesus to kiss him unless they were very good friends. And so he was going to give him a kiss right on the cheek. And so... He, he took them to the garden where Jesus liked to pray. And he walked up to him, and uh, Judas kissed him on the cheek. And then he says, why are you coming with swords and spears? I was with you all the time. I taught in the temples. And they were kind of afraid. Well, Peter was there. And you know how Peter is. He pulled out, he, or he grabbed a sword, and he, he sliced, off, sliced off somebody's ear. 
And, and Jesus said, no, put away your swords. This has to be done. And so he picked up the ear and he put it back on. And it was as good as new. Even he was doing nice to the people that were trying to kill him. So they took him and they beat him up and they put this crown on his head. Ugh. And it had little thorns sticking into his head. Have you ever gotten a thorn bush or a sticker bush? It was like that, but big thorns. And then they took him out and they um, laid him down on this wooden cross and they nailed him on it and then they hung him up. And that's why when we see this cross here, this reminds us that they put Jesus on a cross like this. They put his hands on either side and his feet down at the bottom. And they had two others that were with him. Um, they were uh, crooks and criminals, murderers that had been caught and they were being crucified too. But Jesus hadn't done anything wrong. But you know what? This is why it's Good Friday. Since we have missed the target, the, the, the whole law says that you can't live with God because you've missed the target and you have sin. Well, Jesus says, oh, I love them so much. I love each one of them. And I'm going to pay for their sin. I'm going to die for them, even though I don't have sin. So that's what he did. He died for us so that we won't have to do that. And so they killed him. And they were very sad. <laughs> because they were so hopeful that he was going to uh, charge the room, uh, uh, Romans out and make them a powerful nation. But he wanted more than just that. He wanted to save their hearts, their souls. And it was very sad. And they took down his body and they put it into a tomb, which is like a cave. And they put it in there and then they rolled a big stone on it. And everybody thought that, that was the end. What's going to happen? But three days later, it's really great. Three days later, some of the women came to bring flowers and spices to the tomb, and it was empty. The stone had been rolled away. They looked inside, and there was nobody there, and his body wasn't there. And they were saying, what happened? Who took, who took his body? And there was an angel there. He says, he's, he's, not, uh, he's not dead. He's living. Go tell his disciples. And so they ran off and told the disciples. And they said, what? You're crazy. And they go running back. And they look inside. And he wasn't there. And they said, hmm, what happened? So they went back home. And oh, look, I got to sneeze. <coughs> oh. Okay. So they went back. And they were in the room, kind of like you're in a room right now. And all of a sudden, there he was. He was right there, and he was alive. He said, let me have something to eat. And he ate to show them that he was a real person, not just some ghost or something, or hologram. And they could touch him, and he was alive. And that shows that God accepted him, his sacrifice, and that one day, we're going to rise again from the dead, too. And we can be with him. So that's why today is such a great day, because this is the day we honor the day that he died for us, and we call it Good Friday. It was sad that he died. Oh, they were so sad, but he did it because he loved us. So this uh, on Sunday, we're going to celebrate Easter, and that's when he comes back to life. But that is the best news ever. In fact, that is what everything had been coming down to. Uh, all of history had been coming down to this one point, starting with Adam and uh, telling Eve that there would be somebody that was going to crush Satan, and that was Jesus. He said that to, uh, to Abraham, one of your descendants will uh, save the world, and that was Jesus. He said it to David when he said, your, you know, one of your descendants will reign forever and ever, and that's Jesus because he is the king of kings. And so it all comes down to that point. Who? Isn't that fantastic? So uh, we're going to pray and thank God for, for his sacrifice. So I put your hands in the air, grab a star under your chin, close your eyes, and let's begin. Dear God, thank you so much for all you've given us. Thank you for Jesus' sacrifice and for loving us. Uh, help us to have a great day honoring you. In Jesus' name we pray.
Amen. Okay. Now for your helper chore, I want you to ask your dad what you can do to help him. And then you can ask your mom what you can do to help her. And that way you can be a helper to your dad and to your mom. And that will be your special thing for, to do for today. Whew. Well, today's special is story time. And I picked out this very special story. And it is called Adam Raccoon at Forever Falls. So I'm going to come over and it's going to be like you're sitting in my lap. You're going to be sitting in my lap while I read this story. So let's get over here and look at this book. The sun, uh, far, hidden away in a faraway corner of the world lay Master's Woods. Watching over all who lived in Master's Woods was a mighty lion named King Aaron. And the one he had to watch the most, the closest, was Adam Raccoon. Adam, being a playful raccoon, loved things that sparkled and shined. It fits, Adam shouted. But when Adam tried to take it off, the crown was stuck tight. Do you want some help, Adam? No, I can do it myself, Adam grunted. Finally, after a lot of struggling and uh, tugging and pushing, Adam said in a voice you could hardly hear, I think I need some help. King Aaron reached down and popped the crown off. I think it had better stay, uh, I had better wear this crown, the king said. Yeah, uh, you're right, Adam admitted. Oh well, gotta go. And off he ran to do what he loved to do the most. Swimming! Splash! He floated on his back. He, and he played with his friends. Adam could swim everywhere he wanted except... In Tempting Pond, where the water sparkled and shined, it was the most beautiful swimming hole in all of Master's Wood. But it was also the most dangerous. A swimmer could easily be sw uh, swept away to Forever Falls. So King Aaron put up a sign that said, No Swimming. Adam was upset. He wanted to swim in Tempting Pond. Ah, the blue jay said, Do you really believe what King Aaron says? What, what do you mean? asked Adam. Look at that pond. Do you call that dangerous? It's peaceful, the blue jay said. It even sparkles. Yeah, who's going to know anyway? So, making sure that no one was watching. He dove in. It was more wonderful than he had imagined. The blue jay was right. It did feel good. Suddenly, Adam noticed that he was moving faster, and he was no longer in the pond. Mm. He tried to, to swim back, but the current was too strong. It pulled him farther and farther away from the pond, but closer and closer to... 
forever falls. Whew, that'd be bad. Help! Adam cried as the roar of the waterfall got louder. Adam's friends uh, heard his cry and came running. Uh, the bear said, I can't help him. I'm too fat. I'd sink. The rabbit said, I can't help him. I don't know how to swim. And I can't help him. I'm too small, said the turtle. Splash! Who was that? Somebody went in with a splash. King Aaron! Forever Falls thundered as Adam was swept over the edge with a ma uh, over the edge with one last stroke. King Aaron grabbed Adam into his mighty arms and threw him back onto shore. The brave king was swept up uh, went over the uh, Forever Falls into the black murky water below. He was gone. <sighs> Adam could do nothing but think about how King Aaron had given his life for him. Suddenly, the bushes started to rustle and <gasps> out came King Aaron. He was alive. Adam leaped into his arms. Oh, King Aaron, what a fool I was. How can I ever repay you? With a smile, the king said, All that I ask, Adam, is that you follow me. Okay, that was a great story, wasn't it? And did you know that's the same, kind of like the same story I told about Jesus? Because Jesus saved us. He threw us back on shore. He, but he went over the falls. He died for us, didn't he? And he saved us. And that's why today is such a great day. But the king came back to life, just like he did on Easter. It was like 2,000 years ago, I think it was. Or maybe two. Hmm. Yeah, about 2,000. So that is our story for today. So I want you to have a great weekend. And we'll and enjoy Easter on Sunday. And there's a special service at our church tonight. Um, but you can't go. You have to watch it on TV. So maybe I will see you there, right? All right. Goodbye, Addie. Goodbye, Alfred. Goodbye, Allie. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Autumn. Goodbye, Bennett. Goodbye, Bo. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Emma. Goodbye, Emmy. Goodbye, Everly. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Evie. Goodbye, Gwen. Goodbye, Harper. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Henry. Goodbye, James. Goodbye, Jackson. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Jonah. Goodbye, Jordy. Goodbye, Jacob. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Lacey. Goodbye, Laurel. Goodbye, Layla. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Levi. Goodbye, Lily. Goodbye, Lucas. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Luke. Goodbye, Macy. Goodbye, Maddie. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Melissa. Goodbye, Noah. Goodbye, Nora. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Raylan. Goodbye, Reagan. Goodbye, Remy. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Sadie. Goodbye, Sophia. Goodbye, Zoe. We're glad you came today. Bye, everyone. Bye.